Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Sorry, I'm muting a TV. I only had one hand there. I was totally panicking. I was upstairs finishing supper with the kids. I mean, it's already 6.30. I've got to go. Um, and totally did my run. Now, I'm talking loud because my back's turned to you. Sorry, I was grabbing my snail. So we had our amazing bingo event today, and it was so much fun. I think half my fun is in giving away the prizes. I'm like, I just like seeing people get stamping up prizes. Um, we are going to create with our gorgeous honeybee stamp set. Hi, peeps. Um, I'm just grabbing one last thing here. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to use the coordinating dies. So if you have not, I don't know, if you haven't seen these, I've used them already. I'm in love with them. Um, <clears throat> maybe mildly obsessed with them. I'm totally sorry. I've got the <clears throat> tickle. Ah, uh, you're so excited. Hi, Hallie. Hey, Hallie. Welcome. Hallie is now a demo. Woo, woo, woo. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Beth. Hi, Sharon. Oh, yay. You're working with it too. I just saw your post right as I was going on. I'm like, I want to go see what she made. Okay, so we're going to play a little bit. Hi, Christine and Alana. We're going to play with kind of the DSP that you can get for free, as well as all these bits. Okay, so you've got your bits and your bobs. Oh, thanks, Teresa. Yay. So, Whisper White card base, nothing crazy. Yes, four and a quarter inches uh, wide, 11 inches tall, scored at five and a half. Beth, you rock. Thank you. Hello, Guilain. Bonjour, Guilain. Got Patricia's on too. Yay. Okay, so I'm just giving that the old bone folder. Hi, Susan, so that it doesn't pop open on me because that drives me loopy. Now, this next part, super easy. So these are just three quarter inch strips of designer series paper. So this is right, you can see my package is so well loved. Um, my original card I'll show you, I actually used this one, but I don't have any pieces wide enough to get the stripe going this way left. Well, I do, but I'd have to open a new package and I'm trying to be a good girl and use up what I have. So you can kind of see my very well-loved package of our Golden Honey Specialty DSP. So this is one of our celebration freebies, peeps. Okay, so let's get going. I don't want to waste your time. We're going to come in here, and as I said, this is a three-quarter inch. You actually have to get the snail on the paper for it to work, people. A three-quarter inch by five-and-a-half inch strip of DSP. Now, when I glue mine on, I always make sure that I start up at this top edge up here, because that way, if they're not cut perfectly equal, which I can tell they're not because I can feel this little tiny hair, I can trim it at the end and not worry about cutting my edge of my card. Hello, Carol. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. Whoops, I totally just snailed that right onto my piece of paper. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Hey, how many of you have an adhesive eraser still? Not gonna lie when I tell you I love my adhesive eraser. Now I'm trying to line these up with my 40 plus eyes and it hurts and normally I would move to a black background, but I'm being a little bit or a lot lazy. I'm looking for my adhesive eraser, which apparently no longer exists in my drawer. How did that hide? Okay, I have to not drop the MacBook. We're peeking to see if I see it somewhere. That's super weird. My adhesive eraser is always in the same spot. I never move it and I don't use it very frequently, so I don't know why it's not there. Okay, could you watch? Should we try this? We're gonna be bad. We're gonna try. We're gonna go with my other eraser. We're going with a standard old school pencil eraser because if I don't, I'm gonna stick something in this. Oh, it's coming off. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna get the card stuck to it. How many of you have done that? You've done this beautiful job on a card, and then you go to lift your card up, and it's glued to the grid paper. Oh, I heard it's a little bit cold there. I know it's crazy how cold it is across Canada. My mom's actually in Thunder Bay right now for my uncle's 65th, and I know even there it's freezing. Okay, this is a basic black stitched shape circle. Do you like how I say that so clearly and properly? But it's because if I don't, it will be a giant. Hello, Karen. Hi, Linda, I miss you. Okay, there we go, so we've got that. Now, this piece is two and a half inches wide, and it's five and a half long. This is two and three quarters wide by five and a half. And this is gonna create the kind of center of my card there. Does that make sense? But I don't want to glue it down yet because I wanna die cut something from this. I don't wanna waste it. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I have got. Um, I know I'm bad. I kept, I did buy a ton. And by a ton, I mean a metric ton, not a regular ton. Hope you're okay. Thank you, Brenda. We are slowly returning to kind of living mode. You know, you gotta, as I said to the boys, you have to honor his life. And so we're moving and we're 
you know, we're doing well, as well as you can do. Okay, so now I'm peeling off. I bought a ton of this stuff, but when Stampin' Up! decided to stop carrying it because I did not want to be without it, and I'll show you why. I hate gluing down skinny things, little tiny pieces, as everybody knows. I'm a giant wuss, and Tombo and I, mm, yeah, we don't get along super well. Now, I did use it on my original card, you'll be pleased to know, because I'd already die cut it when I realized what I wanted to do. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece of gold cardstock, and we're going to grab a die cutting, machine and we're gonna grab a piece of gold foil okay now I went and stuck that little bit right there kind of in the center because I'm gonna take this right out of the center I want to use this after to um, oh there's one other die I want to use I'm gonna do the heart too um, I want to use this after to stick onto my card front but I really don't want to go through the effort of trying to glue it down mine is 40 with the wind chill Ugh. It's supposed to, okay, Sandy, no laughing. It's supposed to get cold here. But when I say cold, it's supposed to hit, we're supposed to hit minus 10. <laughs> but that for us is like freezing. Seriously, I, I don't even, we won't even be able to send kids outside at minus 10 because they all just might keel over. Okay, so those have, I'm peeling all my little bits off. I'm just putting them off to the side because I don't want to lose them. Okay, we can get rid of, well, we can kind of get rid of you. I'm going to put you on my chair. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is I've got this uh, circle here. We've got this here. We'll peel you out of the middle. Put your dies back in your case. Not as cold as Eastern Ontario. Little freezing rain, just snowing. Good Lord, you guys. Yeah, my parents, or my dad's up at the lake right now because my mom's in Thunder Bay and he's staying at our house up there still. And he said it's like snowmageddon up there. It's just snowed nonstop. Okay, so all I'm doing here, slapping a little bit of snail onto this, yes. And then we're gonna come in here and we're going to, I'm going to glue it down to one end. This way, if they don't exactly match up, can you see that? It's not a huge deal, okay? I know, minus 10 is indoor recess. I know, here it has to be minus 25. We're a little bit soft on the West Coast, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we've got that all set, which is exactly how I want it. Now, this piece I can take and I can snail him down. I'm really bad at going to the edges today. It's like my eyes are... Crossed. We had a super fun bingo, though. It was good stuff. We haven't had winter. It was 70 degrees here today. Uh, oh, no. Glenda's trying to get back. Yeah, I can't even imagine. I don't think... Is the ferries even running right now, you guys? I think it's a bit dubious out there with the wind. Okay, so we're going to put this one down like that. Easy breezy, but I can see that they don't match up perfectly. So we're going to attempt this. Now, I don't know if this little cutter... we got to cut through some major layers here. So let's just... Did I get close? Oh, I did. How, what did it even take off? It took off like this cute little hair. Okay, let's try again. Oh, it did it. It had no problem. Ha <laughs> ha. Your son lives in Vancouver. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we've got this super cute card front now. Yes, are we loving? Next thing we are going to do, I should probably figure out what I did with the uh, sample card before I started because I actually cannot remember. Oh, there it is. Good. Like, can't remember what I made this card look like a couple days ago. So we're going to grab our dimensionals. You're going to take this stitched shape, shape circle. It's sitting out there waiting to come in. <gasps> Ugh. Okay, that to me. So what Valerie's saying to you, uh, we have ferries that kind of go between the mainland and the island and up the coast and stuff in um, BC. And sometimes the ferry leaves, but it leaves before we know that it's not gonna be able to dock. The weather here kind of, is, it can change really quick. You love the layout? Thank you. Now, Alana, this might bug you a bit because it's not centered, okay? But you'll see it all kind of clicks and fits together once we get going, okay? So, it bothered me when I first put it down. Now, what I'm doing next is I'm peeling this guy right off of here, and he is just a wonderful, wonderful sticker, yes? So I just take this sweet little sticker and I'm going to put them down right on here. Da, da, there's Francine. Hello, my friend. So we're going to put that down right there. Now, what's super cute to use, too, is you can take these adorable little hexagons. Now, I didn't do this on my original card, so maybe we'll just kind of mess around a little. And we can put some. How do you fit? I don't really want to put it, like, in, in. I kind of want it. No, nope, that's going to bother me. Hmm, maybe, oh, I know what we could do. Here, we'll go over here like this. We'll kind of make him go off of a zone. We can stick a few. 
guess we could put a couple in the holes. Could we? What do you think? You're loving the lay. You guys are so sweet. I'm totally playing right now. I'm just changing a card that I I did this card today. Oops, stick it to your finger because that's fun. For my bingo event. Um, but it is kind of fun to change things up. You're not too late. Hi, Kathleen. You guys, I'm I'm going to say this to you and I don't know, maybe I say stuff like this too much. I really have to thank you so much for all the love and support you guys sent my way this week. Um, there this past week, it was not an easy week in our house and you made it so much more bearable with your love and kind wishes. And I don't like this one, sorry, I'm peeling him off. Um, he's too low. And kind of my boys, even them, reading to them, Seahawk touchdown, I love it. <laughs> nice, Teresa. Hey, I cannot believe that you're pulling off, that I feel very proud that you are both watching me and the Seahawks game. Okay, we're trying to get this sticky stuff off the back of that one and I can't do it. So we'll just grab a new one. And another, they just got another one? That, wait, you can't do it that fast. Okay, look at now people are getting off. People are like, wait, I'm gonna go see. Stop telling them about the time, I'm just kidding. There we go. Da, da, you love the cutout action. I know it's kind of fun. So look at kind of how we're, we're zhuzhing it up, people. So I can't recommend enough um, buying a package of the gold foil if you get that bumblebee set. Um, I would, I'll show you how to get it, okay? Because you kind of want a little bit of all of this. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. Now, next thing we need is I need some white scrap paper. You can see this one was from today. That's what we do in Washington. Yeah, you do, girl. Okay, is we've got the super cute bees from the set. So remember, we've got all these adorable little things. I'm gonna have to find hello. It could be behind me. I might have to turn around again. It looks more like a honeycomb. I know. I'm actually really thrilled with how that looks. I think I like that more than my own original card. Okay, focus, Angela. Something shiny. Joanne, I love you guys. Teddy and Joanna and Kim. It's like a club meeting. Okay, so Kim, you've already seen this one. It was our club, it was our bingo card today. I'm gonna stamp this gorgeous bee. And I'm just using my memento ink. And we're gonna do this little bee. And da, da. Now you can also, oh, look at how cute he is. You can also die cut the bees right out of the DSP. Hi, Vicky. Okay, so next thing we need is we're gonna need that big shot again. And I'm gonna need the two, the two bee dies. Two bee, or not two bee. They're the two bee dies. Or the not to be dies. I know, super cheesy. Eh? Can you, can you, oh! I just launched the uh, cutting pad across the room. <gasps> and I'm too old to bend down and pick it up. Holy cow. I just put my back out. Okay. Next thing we are going to do, my dears, is we're going to jump in. And we're going to grab our two Bs. Okay. So this is always interesting. So, oh, good. You can see it. What I do focus on when I'm doing these, I know. Thank you, Pam. Um, is I, with the new dies, you really don't have any white showing when you've got it lined up properly. So he right now is lined up well, okay? Because I've kind of, I matched up his wings and so on. Now, this is always dubious, is doing two of them at the same time without bumping anything. So everybody, hold your breath, count of three. Hello, Marsha. Yeah, you heard the crash. Okay, one. Hold your breath, hold your breath. Nobody breathe, nobody breathe. Put it down gently. Don't twist it. Crank it through. I think we stayed still. Eesh. Use your muscles. Let's see. Oh, yeah. He's good. Okay, perfect. Hello, Denise. And he's perfect. Yay! Two for two. Okay. Don't lose your dies. Put your dies away somewhere safe. Says she who has not cleaned up her dies from today's class. Now... I did die cut just because I was playing when I was actually designing. And this is the same two Bs, but this is die cut right at the designer series paper. So these ones, can you see them, have gold foil in them. So fun. Anyway, okay, next step. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit louder for a sec because I am going to have to turn my back on you. And I'm turning my back on you because I need to grab the hello stamp. And I know people have commented on the fact that when I turn, I often kind of my voice disappears. So we're going to take that little hello. You can breathe now. Well, thank goodness, eh? I know. Seriously, Susan, aren't they gorgeous? Okay, now this one we're going to. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Sorry, little Lionel Richie. That totally reminds me of my parents when I was younger. 
Okay, so we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna take my handy dandy mini trimmer. Woo woo! And we're gonna chop off hello. Okay. Hello, Mary Jane. Oh, Heather's on. Woo woo! Um, grab your paper snips if you can find them. And this one, we're just gonna do my standard little, I love the angled cut. It makes me happy. Little angle cut. And then we're gonna keep just this part. Cindy's on there too. Okay, next, go back, grab your card. Okay, peeps? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take, now, uh, I don't know. So we can use these bees, the bees' knees. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or we can use these bees. Which bees? I think I'm gonna go, oh, I don't know now. Okay, hang on. So we can do, check this out, peeps. We can, here's the kind of layout. We're gonna put on two bees. Now they can be the gold bees or they can be the black bees. Which bees would you prefer? Which bees are the bees' knees? You guys decide. I'm gonna let you decide, I'm gonna wait. Okay, so black bees and gold bees. Which bees? Black, she says black. Okay, that's one vote black. We're gonna, we'll call, we'll call it after five. Two votes black. One, two votes black, one vote gold. Three black, black wins. See, that's all we're just doing. Black, okay, good. Sorry, you <laughs> whoever just said gold, you lost. Oh no, poor Pam. Pam's like, gold, Ange, gold. I know. Okay, well, I feel like maybe, well, it's okay. I'm gonna go black because that's what we voted. One gold, one black. Look at you getting all tricky, tricky. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy, just kind of pop him up here. Now, I, I really try not to keep things every, like I don't want them all on things centered perfectly. It's, I don't know, it's not nature, it's not real, it's not how things really are. So I love allowing things to kind of hang off. Okay, oh, Teddy says gold. Look at you guys are hilarious. Okay, we're gonna take this little one here and we're gonna put this hello, and you kinda wanna make sure that your hello runs parallel to your bottom edge, yes? So if you take your card, stick it down. Oh, you can't even see that, there we go. Take your card, stick it down on there. And then you can kinda see that I'm, I really want him to be straight. Okay, now we're gonna take our other B. Purple, yeah, you're super, Xenia's like, change it up, Ange, go purple, go purple. I have a kid in my class. <laughs> Xenia, I know exactly what you're like. I have a kid in my class who always does that to me. Okay, guys, what are we doing here? This or this? And he'll go with something totally random. Da, da. Oh, I know, and those sweet little, I could, I could glue my little golden white bees inside. Oh, you're so cute. I might have to make another one of these right after, okay? Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we are going to grab, hello, Jan West. Jan West, you've seen this one. Grab our cute little gold heart, peel off the backing because when I die cut that honeycomb, I did the exact same thing with this. Okay, and we're gonna take him and we're gonna stick him down, boop, boop, right on our little hollow. Now, he stands a little bit better on my other card, my heart, because I did not have um, the gold bits kicking around. Yeah, I don't know if I love you now. Well, I do love you. You're super sweet, but I feel like he doesn't stand out quite the same way. You'll see. I'll show you. Okay. Peeps, you ready? Do you want to see the other card? So there we've got the little hello on there. Maybe I should use the small. Yes, you're too big. That's what we're going to do. We're going to swap out that heart. Oh, there's Darlene. Hello, Ann Granger and Jan. It's a party on here tonight. Sunday night at six o'clock. Woo woo. Who else is avoiding their family? I'm just kidding. I'm not avoiding my family. Hubby's at work and the boys and I just ate because Sean, my wonderful husband, cooked us supper before he left. Okay, so we've got our super cute hello. Now let me show you the other one. So this was the one, and you'll notice, this one does not have, it's got the stripes on the side, which I love. I changed up my center panel, okay? Put the heart between the two bees. Oh, I totally could have. Now it's down. Um, I put the, so this one had honeycombs in the middle. This one did not. It went with the stripes. This one had the stripes on the side. This one had kind of more of a honeycomb. And then this was the one where we glued in those cute little gold uh, hexagons. I loved the look of that. That was super fun. You haven't in a while. Ah, thank you. It's 925. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm going to stick this one in here because I feel like it needs it. Da, da. There we go. 9 p.m. here. I know. And so here, what time is it? It's like check. It's 626 on here. Oh, look at it. I even have myself as my, you can tell it goes into my photo album sometimes. So my dears, quickly let me share this with you so you know what you're doing, okay? If you don't know where to find your blessed bees, don't allow me to help you because I'm an idiot and I also don't know. Where are the bees, people? Oh, there they are. 
it says there on page 30. Okay, I'll show you the bees. Bees knees. And then your foil is like $6. So if you look, your B bundle, hello, LA, your B bundle, where's my B bundle? There it is. And it's here. It's $55.75. Okay. And then if I throw in a pack of the gold foil, which you want people, get the gold foil. If you throw in your pack of the gold foil, you're now at $61.75. And then because you're at that, look at, now I can go get the golden honey specialty designer series paper. Okay. Woo woo. I know. Gorgeous. Love, love, love. And you don't want to miss these. So a couple other little things. If you are purchasing this from me online, and this one is good until tomorrow evening. So if you, uh, which is Monday, the, I have no idea, the 13th, Monday, the 13th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, go to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com. Just a second, I lost it. Can you see it yet, people? There you go. Shop with NorthShoreStamper.com. There is this week's host code. So you can use this one here. And then if you purchase those, I am going to be super sweet to you. And I am going to send you out. Just a second. You're going to get two six by six pieces of this. So I'm going to take a 12 by 12 piece. I'm going to cut it into two six by six and I'll mail those out with your thank you card. So you've got a little bit of that to play with. It's super fun. We'll just throw it in there for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed tonight's Facebook Live. Thank you so much for joining me. I so needed to be on here with you. And I can't wait to see you again this week. Bye, guys.